you are all that matters you are all that matters i'll make room for two you and i jesus you are all that matters you are all that matters i'll make room for two you and i jesus you are all that matters you are all that matters oh we oh we you are all that matters oh we This is beautiful. I mean, it's amazing. You sound so great. I never knew you had a such a lovely voice. How long have you been standing and listening to my melodious voice? Um, not quite long, though, but I'm sorry for badging on you this way. It's okay, super drop off. Sit. Okay. Auntie. Auntie, why are you hiding this beautiful gift of yours? I don't understand. Okay. Can I ask you something? Can you possibly light up a candle and hide it under the bed? No, my again is the way. Fine. Auntie Matilda, I... Why do you want to kill this beautiful talent of yours? Okay, I I want you to join our choir. <laughs> I know. You, you're very funny. You and I know that's not going to be possible. I'm nothing but a may house help. What time do I have? Eh? I need to go to the market, wash clothes, clean house, do all those things. Your mother will not even allow me to go out. Please, 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 don't even make such suggestion for me. Else you want me to lose my job. Your mother will just kill me and chase me away. See this roof over my head? I appreciate it. Biko. I, I understand what your fear is, but you know I got your back always, right? I am going to talk to Daddy Gio about this and I will beg him to talk to my mother to allow you to join the church choir. No, please don't do that. I appreciate your concern. I appreciate your love, Manamba. Pico, don't do that. Your mother might think I'm the one that sent you to go and ask somebody to talk. Hey, hey, don't do that. I thank you for loving my voice. Thank you for appreciating my talent. Please, I don't want to lose my job. Please. Um, what about you doing a collab with one of these top gospel musicians like Messi Chimo and um, Shoma, Jesus, and so many of them? <laughs> oh, I know what I'm saying. And You're funny. Hey, Noe, look at the way you're advising me as if I'm somebody's daughter. Why are you talking like that? Where will I even see those people talk more of doing collab with them? And how... My brother... Auntie, let me show you something. You see, um, I am following almost... Um, okay, this is Mrs. Uh I, I want you to chat her. Understand? Chat her and tell her that you're a good artist. You can sing very well. See, with, she... with which phone? Um... Okay, okay, fine. You can make use of my phone this night. Please don't tell my mom. I can allow you to, to make use of this phone this night. Okay? Chat her. Maybe you can be chatting her every night. She might respond one day. But don't, don't tell my mom that I'm giving this phone to you every night. You would do that for me? Yeah, no, thank you so much for appreciating my talent and you know going extra mile to make sure i i hey, become somebody hey, it's nothing Thank it's you. nothing just see, oh, just take my phone and she's the one who see yes her. that's her oh, oh yeah you see she has lots of followers There's, almost five million you see hey see goes okay, okay yes yes that's all okay see what i'll do i will write to her okay after writing to her i'll write to gozi all right you understand okay. um, um, let, let me just give you my password okay this is me 
So how did you people see to this service? Daddy Gio. It was something else. It was like the Holy Spirit came down from heaven and ministered to me directly. Oh, That's I great. was so exhilarated. Hi. I'm considering what happened at service today. You can see that your house health, Sister Matilda, is gifted. Oh, yes. I was stunned myself. I didn't know she could sing like this. Such a nightingale voice. Mm -hmm. yes. Hi. Uh, I would like you people to allow her to join the choir. You know, if allowed to join the choir, that girl can go places. Mm -hmm. She can be... She can be a vessel in the house of God. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, you know, that girl is like a daughter to me. And I will do everything, anything to encourage her. Uh, that's good, that's good. Um, Sister Dorothy, you're not saying anything. Uh, uh, Daddy G.O. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, we, um, we can manage. Yes, yes. Um, you know, God will bless you. God will bless both of you for so in the life of an orphan. Thank yes. You. Actually, it's uh, your son, Noel, that told me about Sister Matilda. Noel heard Sister Matilda singing in the kitchen while she was washing dishes, singing. He said once he heard her sing, <laughs> he realized that this is God-given gift. Yes. It is not ordinary. <sighs> As a matter of fact, she is a gift to this generation. But e e Emmanuel, he didn't tell me. He wanted to surprise me, perhaps. <laughs> that our son is smart. Huh? Um, <laughs> so it would be good if you will allow her to join the choir. The choir practice holds every Tuesday and Saturdays, 5 p.m. Hmm? Yes. Uh, yes, I hope it will be good. Yes. How do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we encourage her. Yes, encourage her. Yes. She'll go places. Yes. Thank you so very much. Yes. Go well. Go well, Chief. Honey? Nothing's gonna yes. last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh. You don't even know what woman be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Madame the mother Madame the mother Madame the mother Madame happy Sunday Madam, the mother. <laughs> Sorry, ma. Stupid man. Come on, close this door. Fool. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Because you're not even sure. Proud woman. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Hello. <laughs> nah, every time, quarrel, quarrel for this compound. Nah, eh. Why are close my gate, my man? Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do right now. Tomorrow's gonna come.
No. There will be no peace in this house. If I may ask, why is it that you are stiff-necked into believing that you have a problem? Hmm? Why? Have a problem? Me? Me? Have a problem? Dorothy, I have advised you and I will keep advising you that you should shun this unnecessary aggression. Yes, because hot tempered people, they are prone to having high blood pressure, which can lead to hypertension, stroke. Okay? Rufus, me, aggressive, hot tempered, only me. I want to have my normal Sunday siesta, okay? If you are not tired of your necessary bickering, go out there and continue to rage like a mad woman, for all I care. Uh, Rufus, you called me a mad woman? You called me a mad woman? If you are not a mad woman, now just explain to me why a woman in her right senses will return from service on a Sunday only to start barking all over the place like a mad dog? Tell me, why? Me, a mad dog! You're very stupid. Mm -hmm. Yes! You are a demented fool for uttering such welcome from your mouth. You're a stupid man. Dorothy, you call me your husband, a stupid man. Yes. A demented fool. You hurt me. In fact, you're not just an ordinary stupid man. You're a man when men are not at home. Look at you. A non-entity. Trying to play a gentleman. Oh, <laughs> Rufus! <laughs> Look at you, nonsense man, fool. Anyway, I will not allow you to spoil the good things that I got from service today. As a matter of fact, Get ye behind me, you Satan. Me? Satan? Rufus, me, Satan? Eh? Me, Dorothy, Satan! Not only am I a dog, now I am a Satan. Let me show you how Satan's behave. Let me show you how Satan behave. I will tell you. Look at you. Dorothy. Call him me a Satan. Dorothy. You are at the Satan. You are the Satan. Oh, they're running away. Come. Let me show you. I should have shown you how Satan's believe. Foolish. Why are you so heartless? Heartless woman. Why are you being so heartless? So, Chief, how is family? Well, Daddy Jill, family is fine. But um, there are skirmishes here and there, and there is a particular big problem. Well, um, for two weeks now, I have not seen Sister Matilda in the church. In fact, since that day you and your wife came here, and I asked you to encourage her to manifest the God-given gift in her, I have not seen her again. So what happened? It would have fool. That is the problem I was referring to. You know, when we left, 
my wife made our house a living hell for everybody apart from her daughter Olivia. Sister Dorothy. Exactly. As a matter of fact, she gave Emmanuel the beating of his life and turned the whole house upside down. Why? Because she felt Matilda would blow. Yes, because of her performance in the choir. And she said over her dead body, should Matilda remain in the choir? Ah, ah. Is Sister Dorothy that Carlos? <laughs> that is you. That is an understatement. Oh, yes. Now, let me bust your bubble. You know, I traveled the other time. I came with so many gifts for them. But it happened that the one I gave to Matilda is more than the rest, uh, given her background. Do you know this woman collected those clothes from Matilda and gave them to Olivia, her daughter, to use? The other day, when we got home, the day I told you she beat Emmanuel up. <laughs> Go to that day. She gave Emmanuel the greatest beating. Yes. Then she went ahead to insult me. There is no name in this world that I want to Dorothy gave me the greatest insult of my life. She called me all sorts of names. I am a demented fool, a stupid man. Any name you can think of, negative one at that. Well, you know I'm a good Christian. There is no way I will lay my hands on my wife. No, 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 no. As a Christian, you are forbidden from beating your wife. So what I did was to quietly abandon the room for her. For the past two weeks, I've been sleeping in the guest room. You know what that means for a Christian? By the grace of God, I have to hold myself. You understand? But Chief, you are the man of the house. You ought to take care of all this. Daddy Chiu, I am trying my best. But I cannot chase my wife out of the house. Yes. You know, so the, the only thing I do now is to just to pray so that God can touch her heart. Um, Chief, um, don't worry. I'll make her time and talk to Sister Dorothy. I believe she will listen to me. That would be very nice of you. So I, I have a strong belief that uh, the relationship between man and God is purely personal to the individual. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we can do is to pray for ourselves and see how we can manage them. And go, I can't change her. It's only God that can. It is well. Thank you, Pastor. So, um, I need to leave now. It's all right. It's all right, Chief. We we'll send you where to man. This is well. Uh, but you saw her during the service. Yes, I did. And the only thing that you will be doing. How does it feel to live the way you do? You have ah, me that. the world around you. Ah. Oh, what oh, does it pay to be the way you are? Oh, you are you oh, the world around you. I don't mind. Please don't wait for me this time. You know what they asked her? Results. Breeze, breeze. <laughs> you know what they asked her? Why they have you say, Olivia know the house? Now, me at that fine houseman, now, me at the house. You mean Matilda? Yes, now, that fine girl. So, where is she? Okay. See him, see him, see him for that place. Now, they fetch water for that place. Okay, okay, okay. I right. tell you, I get too fine. I'm fine. Welcome, sir. I see you're busy. Yes, sir. But there's no one at home. They've all gone out. I know. I actually came because of you. Because of me? Yes. I know everyone might have gone out. So I came to keep you company. Oga, to the best of my knowledge, I can't remember telling you that I'm lonely and needs company. 
please. I don't need you to keep me company. Moreover, you should be somewhere, maybe working or school. Don't you have anything you're doing for yourself? Uh, yeah, I am a 300 level student, computer science. Well, I'm done with my lectures today. Well, um, Matilda, I really like you. The first day I set my eyes on you, I've not been myself. Matilda, you are so beautiful. If you accept to be my girlfriend, I promise you, whatever you want, anything you want in this life, I will do it for you. Yes. Matilda, you're not saying anything. Why would he tell me that Olivia is the one forcing herself on him? Did I ask him? Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. Oh, you don't even know what woman be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Proud woman be careful things you do Tomorrow will come now, woman, you come this house, come quiet. I don't know if you can come this house with that. You go as it is. So, you don't sit down. They focus on your book. You come here, call the fire woman. Mati, Mati, fine babe. Now, you call the fire. You don't get sense. Make my organ catch you one day for you. I'm going to kill you. Maurice. See that. Were you here earlier today? No. Why do you ask? Someone told me that she saw you around the neighborhood today. Me? Did the person actually tell you she saw me in your neighborhood today? Yes. That means the person must have lied to you. Sweetheart, so I did not come here today. Except now that I just came. Here? Yeah. I mean the neighborhood. <laughs> Maurice. Your eyes are blinking. A telltale signal that you're lying to me. Someone told me that she saw you around the estate today. Which estate? Our estate, of course. And who could that be? A friend and also a neighbor. She said she saw you this afternoon. <clears throat> oh yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. It escapes my mind. Maurice. You mean you came to this house when you rightfully know that I will not be around? I know now. Nah. I just came to a cafe down the street. Which cyber cafe? You left. You mean you left all the cyber cafes in school to come to this? So which cyber cafe did you come to? Maybe I called a friend of mine on the phone who told me he was in a cafe down the street. So I, I decided to come and see him in your neighborhood. And which friend are we talking about here? Maybe you don't know him. He, he's Raphael. I'm sure you've not met him. Son of a bitch. Could it be he was here earlier today to make advances at Matilda? Hmm. It better not be what I'm thinking. Hello. Olivia, are you here? What? Fine. Are you sure? Yes, whatever. What is it? Kirsten? I'm okay. I'm fine. <clears throat> okay, if you're fine. Uh, but there is something I want to tell you. What is it? I've been longing to tell you this for a very long time. It's about Matilda. And what about that low life of, of a house help? See, don't you think we can make money from that girl? That girl is very beautiful. I mean, very beautiful. I admire her a lot. Don't you think you can actually make money from that girl? She has everything in a woman. Like, she's very beautiful. Her backside, everything. I know one big guy in this town. 
he runs beauty pageant. You can take my sister to the guy, the guy will sign. Maurice! How dare you open your mouth and tell me such nonsense? You are very, very stupid for saying that. I mean, you sit here and talk about Matilda in that manner in front of me? Oh, please, spare me that crap. You made me tattoo your name on my chest, all in the name of love, and you're here admiring another girl. I think you're very, very stupid. Idiot. Get out of my father's house. Get out! As a matter of fact, leave my house. Get out of my father's house. Yeah, you don't. don't see you here anymore. Baby, come back now. It's money we're talking about. It's, it's money now, baby. Just come back. Very stupid. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Whether you like it or not, that girl is very beautiful. And she's good to go. Let's make let's the girl make money. If you are done inside, just come outside. I'm waiting for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. This is my girlfriend's house. Perplex. Are you okay? <clears throat> There's nothing one won't say in this house. Mom, what is it? You were not here to see what happened today. Mom, what happened? Hi! Matilda! I think it's time to throw her back to the street where she belongs. Mom, what did Matilda do with me? Matilda! <laughs> Matilda! Mom, you're confusing me. Matilda, Matilda, what did she do? Tell me. Do you know? Or do I say, do you remember Brother Paul from our church? He was here today with that his brother, the one that traveled to Spain seven years ago. Mom? You mean Desmond, the drama guy? Hi, mommy, how was he looking? Oh, that handsome man. That same handsome man was here today to ask for Matilda's hand in marriage. What? Matilda again? Hi. It's time to put an end to this madness going on in this house. Yes. I mean, why would she be getting all the attention? Why? Why Matilda, 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 when my daughter is here? There's something that I can't still comprehend. Something is not right. 
I mean, she's getting all the attention for real. Just imagine an ordinary housemaid, an orphan from the motherless baby's home. I'm sure her mom, her mother would have been a mad woman or a prostitute who, who dropped her in the gutters and left her to die. Mom, I hate her so much. Imagine Morris looking her way. You don't say. Yes, mom. Yes. And I can't sit here and watch that evil nitwit get married before me in this house. No. <laughs> she has really crossed her limit. I employed her. And it is time to deploy her to the streets where she belongs. Yes, Mom. Let's send her packing. Yes, let's send her packing. Heartless. Why you be so heartless? Heartless woman. Why you be so heartless? My children leave my house. Go back to the orphanage where you belong. Leave us alone. We don't want you again. Leave my children. Please. I beg you, ma'am, please. I don't have anywhere to go. I will go, I will go. Let me let me greet her. Okay? Madam asked me to go. What's going on here? I fired her. Dorothy? Yes? What is going on here? I fired her. On whose authority? On my own authority because I employed her. Oh. So you think you can just lord yourself around here like the Lord of the Rings? What do you mean by that? Who gave you the impetus to do that? Huh? I'm asking you. What are you asking me? Are you mad? Ah, Daddy! Idiot! Who gave you the right to sack her? Rufus. You slap me because of this bastard? And I will slap you again if you don't shut out your dirty mouth. Who do you think you are? Look, instead of her to leave, you will be the one to leave this house. Story! I'm telling stories. I'm telling stories. Stories! You're telling stories. You think I don't know you're sleeping with her? I'm sleeping with her? Yes! And so? And so? What can you do about it? Really? This is how you spoil my name all over the place. You drag my name along the mud. Before the judge. Before the DGO. Are you okay? I should be asking you that question. Hit me one more time and you will regret ever knowing me. You're daring me. Of course I am. You think I don't know why you want her out? Why? You and your lazy daughter. Because shooters are coming after her. 
Instead of your lazy daughter here, that's why you want her out. I don't care. You don't care. She should leave my house. But I care. Idiot. How did I marry this devil in the first place? How did I marry you? Eh? It's all right. I will show you the stuff I've made of if you continue with this nonsense. And you, you lazy fool. I know how to handle you. Idiot. Matilda, you are not going anywhere. You come inside. Take your things and come inside. Zaki, make sure you lock that gate. She must not go out. Idiot. Matilda, come with me. Come with me inside. Let me see what this bastard is. Idiot. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody was doing this foolish girl because of you that slaps my mother. I would deal with you in this house. You will see Pepe and will put Pepe in your eyes. Witch. Witch. You don't even know what comes next. Ma. Please. I'm sorry. Biko. Can I go inside? Oh my. I'm so I'm sorry. Mama! 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 Then I... I was upstairs listening to music. You were upstairs listening to music while your mother and your sister almost evicted Matilda from this house back from a timely intervention. I, I, I didn't know that. I will show this woman the other side of me.
Can I please see her? You can't see her now. Why? If it's time for you to see her, you will out her. <laughs> Just calm down, she'll be fine. Oh, please. God, you better let me down with this one, I beg you. Don't worry, she'll be fine. You have never failed me. Just please have this cup of me. Please, just please have this cup. You have never failed me, I beg you. This for good time, please. Please have this cup of me, I beg you, please. I hope she didn't sustain any internal injury. Mm, I don't think so. Like I said, it's just a minor shock. She'll be fine. Okay, please. Just do anything within your power to revive this girl for me. And it's about the money I'll pay. Please. Well, uh, we'll do our best. And I want you to calm down. Like I said, she'll be fine. And I assure you, she will not even spend much time here. Okay. So calm down. Okay. Doctor, please. Can, can, I, can, I, can I see her? Yes, yes. But she's unconscious. And I don't want you to make noise when you get there. No, no problems. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Thank, Thank you. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Such a vanity. It's our vanity, vanity. Infidelity. Infidelity. It's such a vanity. To God. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for preserving the life of this innocent girl. Because I don't want to be a murderer. I do not want to be associated with the name murderer. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to live the way you do? You'll be fine. She hasn't run away. With my 25,000 naira? No, no, she can't try that. That's how I feed him money. Hey! <laughs> Matilda! Uh, I just pray nothing bad has happened to her. I'm talking about my money, you're talking about her. Something happened to her, then bring back my money. Mom, I know that she has been looking for an opportunity to run away from this house. Now that she has seen 25,000 naira, that is when she decided to run away from this house. Hey, this is my fault. Hey. Olivia, what is wrong with you? This is not the first time she's going to the market with such amounts of money. So why are you saying this? Uh -huh. So why are you saying this? But she has been returning. <laughs> she has been returning with full stops. Mommy, would you believe that this girl left this house since 12 noon? Look at the time, almost 7 p.m. and she's not back yet. Hi! Ha! Hi! This is my fault, though. Eh? This is my fault. God, please. Bring her back safely. Dad, any luck? No luck. <laughs> I, I went to the police station to report her missing. But they told me that uh, it's rather too early that she'll come back after 24 hours to make official report. God. I have a premonition that something bad may have happened to her. Perhaps she entered one chance. God forbid. Rufus, if she likes, 
let her enter one chance or two chances. I don't even care if she's been kidnapped by armed robbers or ritual killers. All I care is my money. She should just send that money. Maybe drop it at the gate. That is my own. I need my 25,000 Naira. Dorothy! Uh -huh. Why are you like this? Like what? Eh? I know she's been planning this all along. Yes! It's my fault. I should have been sending her this bit by bit. Go and buy pepper 500. Return with 1,005. Buy onion. Go and buy meat. 3,000 Naira. Buy this one. Go and buy something. 2,000 Naira. Buy this one. 3,000. Return and go out. This is my mistake. Nothing should happen to this girl. <laughs> Emmanuel. Hey, I, I, I hope nothing happens to her. That girl is too good. She's just too good to face something like this. Emmanuel, please go and get me a glass of water. Atlas woman, atlas woman, why you been so atlas? Daddy Jill. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. All is not well at all. It's Matilda. Why you been so atlas? She's missing. Yes, I've gone to the police. But they advised that uh, I should come back after 24 hours to make official report. Yes. It's alright. Thank you, Daddy. Is she at the church? No. She's in heaven. Rufus. She should not use my money for offering. Please, I am begging her. Because I'm going to kill her. Dorothy! What? You're a devil! You're a Christian devil! That's my own. Emmanuel! Mm. Emmanuel! Yeah, let me have the water, please. My ears are tickling me with this kind of rubbish. Let me take all you! You're a devil! You're a Christian devil! Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today Cause tomorrow is not sure You don't even know what comes next oh, You don't even know What woman Be careful what you do Cause you don't even know So make you feel good, oh. make you do good, oh. make you do the right thing. Oh, feel good, oh. make you... God, I hope. Nothing bad has happened to Matilda. Oh God. I have every reason to believe in you, God. I know that you will not allow anything bad to happen to her. I know you will not allow anything bad to happen to her. God. God, please. Matilda, please. Come home safely.
for a while. Don't you think you should go home and freshen up? No, please. I, I'm okay. Have you had anything to eat? Sincerely, I'm not hungry. I appreciate your concern. I really understand, but at least you have to eat something. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Okay, if you said so. I'll come and check. The trip later. Alright, okay. I appreciate this. You're welcome. Good night. So how are you doing? To the glory of God, I'm recovering. I'm getting better. The doctor said it was just a minor accident. No bruises, no internal bleeding. Just shock and you know, body ache, headache, severe headache. Sorry. Huh? What about the Noel you used his phone to call me? He has gone back to the house. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. And tomorrow, mm. everything happened within the twinkle of an eye. I didn't even know. I was just singing. All of a sudden, I got carried away. And I ran into a car. But God may have it. I, I just, I just entered like that without looking. And the, the driver knocked me down. Hey. Well, good a thing. He's a good man. He's even the one that rushed me to the hospital. You know, some people will just hit you like that and run, run away. Yes. Especially when it's your fault. But, okay, my mother. Matilda, I can see you're getting better. But, Matilda, how could you have crossed the road without watching? Huh? I was carried away. 